On January 15th, the 2024 U.S. presidential election season will officially kick off with the Iowa caucuses. Republican candidates, including Ron DeSantis, Nikki Haley, and Vivek Ramaswamy, will seek to unseat the current frontrunner, former President Donald Trump, as the party's eventual nominee to challenge incumbent President Joe Biden in November's general election. Unlike traditional primary elections, caucuses originated as an informal gathering of neighbors to discuss and determine internal party matters, and the process still reflects some of this history. Iowa Republicans will meet in each precinct at designated locations, churches, schools, and even private homes. Candidates or their representatives can give speeches and try to convince undecided attendees before everyone hands in their votes results tallied and announced immediately. The Iowa delegates will then be proportionally distributed among the candidates based on their share of the statewide vote. Despite providing about 40 out of the nearly 2,500 delegates expected to vote at the Republican National Convention in July, the Iowa caucuses has historically been influential in shaping the race's outcome as the first event in the primary election calendar, and candidates have often devoted significant resources to campaigning there. This intense focus on a state with a population of only 3.2 million is rooted in the unique history and structure of the United States. The Constitution makes no provisions for political parties, which are technically independent organizations that can select their nominees in any way they choose, within legal limits. Furthermore, the federal system allows individual states a great deal of control over when and how their elections are conducted. And small states like Iowa and New Hampshire have used their early scheduling to boost their national profile. Nevertheless, recent years have seen increased criticism that these states will disproportionate influence and do not reflect the country's diverse electorate. Following disruptive technical errors in 2020, the Democratic National Committee moved to de-emphasize the party's Iowa caucuses while moving the primaries of more diverse and larger states like South Carolina up in the primary calendar. For now, however, the Republican Party has opted to maintain the status quo in an election cycle already full of unprecedented developments.